sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. That crust out your eyes. Heather always like when we have these kind of artists that come up because because of your career as a as a MC, as a actor, as a uh a therapist, as a mixologist, <laughs> as uh, speak on all just, my jobs. Okay, yeah, all, all of the different things you do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Be- because it is so hard for MCs. I don't say female MCs. I say MCs who happen to be female to break through this game. So mm-hmm. I'm always curious to how artists do it. First time I ever saw her rap live was at South by Southwest, mm. and I want to say it was a vibe party. Yeah. Yeah, it was, yeah a vibe. it was a vibe. It was a vibe party. And um, at that time, there were a lot of people coming up to me about Lola Monroe, you know. And I was like, well, what? Well, what does her name stand for, man? I mean, where is she? Co- well, I used to see her in the videos, right? She's an actress, too, right? Mm-hmm. That's her. Right? What is she rapping now? Ah, oh, man, I get tired of these people. You know, you know, that's right. your first reaction, right? Right, right, right. right. And then I saw you rap. I remember the jeans you had on. Then I saw you of rap. Of course you do. I had nothing to do with you. Right. I'm very observant. Stay on track. You know, I noticed nothing these wrong things. With that. Ain't nothing wrong with that, right? right? Like you right. wore them to be seen. Exactly. It worked. Right. Um, but <laughs> most importantly, I was impressed by your flow. Thank you. And I can't think of who was the guy. It was a little white guy that was telling me about you that was down with y'all collective at that time. And I, I hate when people, t- I like to see it for myself. Absolutely. And once I saw, I said, man, y'all got something. Mm. You. you know, I didn't know what your affiliation was at that time. People thought you were Taylor Gang. That has since been cleared up. Right. You never signed with them. Right. Um, right. Still affiliated. You're still cool with them, right? Yeah, it's still all love. So Just all business-wise, it's not, we don't work together. Y'all don't work together, right? right? But it's still all love. Who are you working with now? Me, myself, and I. Good. Mm. I but like it's it. been like that before, the whole yeah. Taylor Gang affiliation. Mm-hmm. You know, I had my BET, Best Female Hip Hop, right. nomination before a co-sign, before anything. Mm-hmm. So I'm kind of used to that grind. Mm-hmm. So it ain't nothing. We just right back to it. Where you from? D.C. You're from D.C.? Born yeah, and raised? Me. South Side? Actually, I was born in Ethiopia. Born in Ethiopia. Born oh, in yeah, Ethiopia. Right. You got island roots, right? Yeah. It, well, well, it's through... The the person that was on my my father's side, yeah. my mother's side, uh-huh. is Trini. And uh-huh. because I wasn't that close to my father coming up, uh-huh. he kind of had me like under his wing, uh-huh. and it was th- that's where that whole Trini thing came from. But uh-huh. like blood wise, whole um Ethiopia, Ethiopia. yeah, so, I was born there. Came over when I was a few months old, uh-huh. and I grew up in D.C. Uptown. Uptown. Okay, so she's really, she looks pretty and glamorous, but she's a thug at heart. <laughs> Keep that in mind. She's faking. She's fooling y'all. Oh, no. Don't fall for that. Um, So that's a lot of spicy food at your house, huh? Ethiopian. Yeah. And, and, do you it's cook? so good. Is it? Yeah. All right. I, my mother-in-law is a chef. Uh-huh. She actually chefs for Tiger, too. Okay. So she's like, it's kind of, you got a chef at home. Yeah. It's like you really don't, you know what I mean? You know, you're she, not cooking. You, yeah, you're, you're like just eating. I'm eating. <laughs> All right, Holly Salasai, you know who that is, Heather B. Pong. You know, okay, you know who that is, Lola. Yeah, okay. my grandfather was the top general right under him. Mm. So when he got killed, uh-huh. my grandfather got killed with him. Sorry. So yeah, oh, really? Yeah. So it's all. So you my got royalty. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you got royalty. Nobody ain't talked. To, why I ain't heard about this? Because they they need to hear the story. That's what I'm saying. Oh wow, um, <laughs> Holly Salasa, I study because I got rosters in my family right, right. that um uh, um you know consider him a, a deliverer. Right. You know. Uh, did came you came down? Go ahead. And then it started raining. There was like a drought in Jamaica for so many yep. years, mm-hmm. so long. And when he landed. The rain just started mm-hmm. pouring down. So wow, I was like, "Yo, Lola, I'm fucking with Lola now, man." <laughs> so much depth into this. Um, <laughs> your project is dropping today. Today, finally, yeah, Lipstick okay. and Pistols, Lipstick hosted by DJ Ill Will, and uh-huh. it'll be premiering. I mean, well, yeah, coming out on Hot New Hip Hop and NatPiff.com. On that at, what at time? one p.m. today. One p.m. There's Eastern. There's already a countdown on the website. This is what I'm going to do, Lola. Uh, this is your first time on my show. Yes, yes. Um, and the way we do, this is really, this is where you need to be to get that word out. I want a sure. world premiere song from the album that nobody has heard before. Nobody. Okay. Uh, can you do the honors and introduce it? And then we're going to open up the phone lines, 888-742-3345. Sure. So this is one of my favorite records. 
um, featuring Juicy J, and it's called Money on a Head off of Lipstick and Pistols. I Let's like go. that. She made a face when she said that, too. <laughs> All right, Sway in the Morning, world premiere. That's a world premiere, Money on a Head. You got to say that with a scringy face, too. Lola Monroe is here with us today. Already. This project is coming out today. Yes, yes. Uh, Lipstick and Pistols. <laughs> um Lipstick and Pistols, why did why, why you title it that? Lipstick and Pistols, it kind of defines my whole persona. Uh-huh. You got Lola Monroe, you yeah. know what I mean? You give off that, that whole sexy, feminine, uh-huh. but still hard. I still have my edge, and I still come from the bottom. I still come from a certain foundation, and uh-huh. you know, so it kind of balances out Lipstick and Pistols, you know, what I represent. When you, you say you're the edge, I get it, too, um, and you came from the bottom. What was the bottom? Like, did you did your family struggle or uh, just growing up in D.C.? Is that I mean, the, for, for the most part, part, definitely yeah. growing up in D.C., and uh-huh. I've been on my own since I was 15 years old. Okay. You know what I mean? So I've been through my struggles of, you know, figuring out. And I come from a city where we not like Atlanta and New uh-huh. York and L.A., so we don't have stars before us to set those examples saying, okay, you can make it, you actually can do this and uh-huh. be in the industry and be successful, you know? Uh-huh. So uh-huh. I kind of had to figure it out. Wale is the first male to come out the city and make it yeah. that big, uh-huh. and I'm the first female, and he took it to a whole nother yeah. level, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. So just coming up from that struggle, coming up from the hood and, you know, just figuring it out and still through the Grace of God yeah. being able to be here today, even with you. you know? yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, she threw me in there. You heard her? <laughs> right. so, um, so you ain't never sold drugs? <sighs> okay, when I was in high school. Damn. When I was in high school, yeah. I had broke like two bones in my leg. Uh-huh. And I had a cast that came all the way up to my thigh. Uh-huh. And I was on my own. It was like I just had got on my own. And me and my best friend would get ounces, break it down, stick it in my cast. Go to school and sell it. <laughs> I'm serious. God damn. That's because smart. they wouldn't check us. We would go through the metal detectors. Uh-huh. They wouldn't mess with me because I had the cast on. So it was kind of. <laughs> you hear drugs in your cast. I did. Damn, you a slime ball. I can't <laughs> believe you did that. <laughs> it was some <laughs> slice stuff, though. though. It was some slice it stuff. Was, okay, all it right. It was slice. So what happened when the cast finally came off? I actually had to cut it off myself. Because the hospital, you know, you on your own, you don't know what the hell. And I actually was told that I would never be able to walk normal again. Oh, wow. So I, we was in the bathroom cutting it off, and it took us so long, and I still couldn't walk for another month. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah. Wow. Damn. Heather, you looking at it like, damn. Because that just seemed like a lot. <laughs> it is so a lot. young. Yeah. You know, um, where was your mom and everyone when you were going through all of this? She she was in New York. She's she lives in New York. Um Honestly, when you look when I look back now, it was like I was a little girl. Mm-hmm. But at that point, you think you're grown. You yeah. think you can just take over the world, handle everything, and I'm like so strong minded that I'm I, I won't go back. I won't turn back. Mm-hmm. So I left home. I went back, I went to Ethiopia before I even do that. Me and my father weren't that close. Right. So he sent me to Ethiopia for about six to eight months. Mm-hmm. And when I was over there, they didn't know that my uncle was kind of off a little bit. Yeah. So they would send him money to clothe me, feed me everything. And he would lock cabinets, fridges, everything. And mm-hmm. he basically starved me while I was out there. Wow. wow. So, yeah. So when I came, my aunt was like, you know, I'll bring you back over here. And she lived in D.C. Mm-hmm. So when I came back over here... Um, I stayed with her for a while. Then my mother, my mother is like this little Ethiopian traditional Mm -hmm, woman mm -hmm. filled with so much love. And she's just so amazing. And Mm -hmm. she really didn't know what was going on with me. And when she brought me back, I was at the point was like, yo, I've been through all this. You know what? I can do this on my own. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to leave home and figure it out. And that's what I did. And I never looked back. You never looked back. Mm -hmm. And then that's how you got into acting and and becoming, um, you know, featured in videos. When I was about 19, yeah. uh Like, it took me a few years. And Mm -hmm. like I said, we didn't have entertainers before. So that wasn't really like a, a... a, a reality for me. Yeah. So I did take my first pictures, and when I did, I was like, okay, you know what? I could probably do this. And I always had a love for music. Mm-hmm. So I said, let me figure out how to get in the industry through this and eventually transition. And that's why I always mentioned in my prior interviews that I would eventually get into music. Mm-hmm. So I did that, and when I was at my highest peak as far as modeling, I was like, all right, let me transition now. And mm-hmm. The rest yeah. is history. Yeah. The rest is history. You've been putting out music since oh nine. Yeah. So you've been uh-huh. you've been a lot of people don't realize how much uh from the boss bitches days and yeah. to now how much work you actually put in. Yeah. Um 
And then also a lot of people, what happens is because you rap, you 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 rap great. People wonder how, where, where did that come from, um, and a lot of people wonder when, well, especially with MCs who are women, if they write their own lyrics. I write all my shit. Thank you, you very much. But I did have a great teacher. Well, speaking of that teacher, um, <laughs> who goes by the name of King Los, <laughs> we, we we asked him about that and yeah. asked him about you rapping yeah. and uh, and what influence did he play. And this is what he had to say. I basically taught my child's mother how to rap. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? You taught Lola how to rap? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm de- she, de- you educate. Yeah. yeah uh-huh. She got everything before me. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. She got nominated for Best <laughs> Female Hip Hop. Yep. You know what I'm saying? She got, uh, she was with Taylor Gang. Uh-huh. She was on the cover of The Source. Uh-huh. She beat me to everything. No. <laughs> First of all, he sounds like he loves your dirty panties when he talks about you. Gosh, I mean, he, he does. Everything. He does, doesn't he? He does. That is my other half. He is my everything. I love when I see a, a couple that, yeah. you know, that obviously is in the public eye, but that are successful at being a couple. Right. Yeah, and right. I know it could be hard for you. You're a beautiful uh, young lady. I'm sure you've had every, you know, low life under the, you know, that came on the rocks, get at you in so, all sorts of ways. And you probably still do. But you decided to settle with him. Why? What was it about him that, you know? We was friends before everything. Uh-huh. Like, we, we've been together for, like, six years now. Yeah. So, it's like when I think having that foundation as friends is very important because you're able to get through a lot more. Uh-huh. You know, so it's really not even about entertainment. It's not about rap. It's not about none of that with us. You know, uh-huh. we built that friendship. And after we became friends, we were together, like, every single day. Uh-huh. So... It's just that closeness. So I can vibe with him. He's real. You know, he holds me down. I hold him down. Mm-hmm. So it's just, it's great. He's one of the best rappers out today. There's he, not many, especially sorry, freestyling. He's, he's like the best rapper he's the best, alive. You think he's the best <laughs> yeah, rapper period. alive? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> when y'all in bed together, do y'all go back and forth with rhymes? Have y'all ever done that? I mean, not in bed, but you <laughs> y'all know. Don't cipher under, <laughs> y'all don't cipher under the sheets? No, no. He's <laughs> try, he be trying to get me to freestyle, though. He um, He's like, yo, you can do it. Like, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, we... He might be downstairs writing. I might be upstairs writing. Uh-huh. So we, it's it's a music house. Like my baby falls asleep to beats. To beats. Yeah. Your child's name Brixton. Brixton Royal. Brixton Royal. That's yeah. a beautiful name. Thank you. Is it competitive? It has to be between you and not not in a bad way, but you know, like uh, I'll say this: when I'm in a studio with him, yeah. and we're making a record, I'm like, yo, I got to step my game up. It uh-huh. takes me a little longer to my, write my verse. So yeah. it is that, but it's like motivational. It feels so good because when I'm around him, it makes me just like kind of go harder. Uh-huh. That's what's up. Oh. Lola Monroe is here, man. I want to play another song and then, yeah. you know, I'm going to ask you to do something for me. Uh, <clears throat> I'll tell you what that is up next. And then we're also going to take <laughs> some phone calls. What song you want to play? Let's do Band Up. I just released that. I just shot a video to it and that'll be releasing in a couple weeks. Mm-hmm. So let's drop Band Up. Here it is, Lola Monroe, 888-742-3345. Sway in the morning, band up, bitch. (laughs) (laughs) Lola make you feel like that, right? (laughs) Tell them, tell them. I'll make you uh, fuck all of my boys. Okay. (laughs) I heard that. Oh, freak pussy ass bitches. Bitch. (laughs) They ain't saying shit. (laughs) Right? At all. There's some freaky ass women out there right now. Pauly D, just my buddy, just got caught up. Mm Mm-hmm. You know, had a one night stand. <laughs> Girl now he got, got himself a baby. Got a baby. Congratulations. Oh, yeah, congratulations. Yeah. Babies are blessings. And the mother posted a picture with the baby with dollars all over it. <laughs> you lying. On the baby seat. No way. Band up. <laughs> <laughs> Instagrammed all out. Baby got a band up. Yeah. Do you have you 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 who's your clique? Who you hang out with? Boston Mafia. Boston Mafia. Bosset Mafia. Bosset Mafia? Female version of a boss. That's that's my click. That's your click. Boss set. Boss set mafia. Okay. All then right. I, you know, I got my, you know, I live for the gays. Like, that's, uh-huh. that's, that's, I came up around the gays. That's mm-hmm. my everything. Mm-hmm. So they are my bossy boys. Okay. Oh, gay. Oh, so gay guys. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Not gay women. <laughs> no. Because they'll be trying to snatch they, you be up. Boss sets. Yeah. They boss sets, though. Yeah, so. but they'll be smacking on you. <laughs> they'll be trying to already know. Oh, um, they cool, man. <laughs> You don't have female like fans that try to pick up on you. Um, not really. Not really. I mean, they they cool. Yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, I ain't trying to start no rumors or no, nothing. All right, no, no, okay. they cool. They're cool? No, yeah. They cool. All right. Uh, Lola Monroe is here. Yes. You want what? <laughs> Why are you uh, looking at me like you that? You are such a little troublemaker. <laughs> it's <laughs> like <laughs> you're with your man. Y'all are out. And then, like, Large Marge is going to come and pick up on her while she's with her, her man and her no. baby. Well, they're not, they're not together all the time and it happens. Yeah, what? No, well, I haven't very had aggressive. You haven't had that. No. I had lesbian women pick up they're on me. They're aggressive? Yeah. Women are very, from what I've seen in my experience with women, yeah. they, they are, are much more they, aggressive than men. And they will let you know what's on their mind within the first five seconds that you meet them. Be <laughs> sure to come Large Marge sent you. All right. <laughs> Uh, uh, Lola Monroe is here. We're going to take your calls. I don't know where that just went. Um, I didn't even tweet anything. I needed to tweet. You got to tweet them. Tyson yeah. in Baltimore is on the line. Go ahead. What you want to say, Tyson? What's going on, Sway? Have a B trade. Hey, what up, What's Tyson? Going on, Lola Monroe? What up? Man, I got to show a lot of respect for Lola Monroe. I'm a district law prevention manager at Urban Outfitters in Baltimore. She stayed coming through there showing all my customers respect. I just Thank got big up. I didn't even know who she was at first. So one of my employees said, Yo, this, 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 and this. I went on YouTube, found her. I fuck with you real heavy. Thank you. I appreciate that. I rocks with Baltimore all yeah. day. Be more. Thank you. Safe. Uh, Ashley in Wisconsin. Go ahead. Say hello to Lola. Hi, Lola. Hi, baby. Um, I just want this Twizzler. I just wanted to tell you happy birthday, you know. Thank you. Um, I love you. Love you, too. Thank you so uh, much. Yeah, and I, I'm like geek of a stick and pistols right now, like... I'm just geek like, yeah. Uh, I, I can't uh, wait to get it to y'all. Thank you so much. 1 p.m. Man, listen, 1 p. listen, I've been up since like for like 24 hours. I had to work third shift last night, and I'm like, I'm really tired, but I'm going to stay up until lipstick and pistols. Well, get your rest because it's going to drop at 1. Yeah, because you definitely need some sleep from the way you so sound. So you can turn up too. <laughs> exactly. Um, <laughs> 1 p.m. is going to drop. So Victor, <laughs> she needs rest. Victor and VA, go ahead. What you want to say to Lola? Hey, Lola. What's going on, Sway? What up, homie? What's good? Hey. hey so, so I just wanted to say I think I think you're awesome. I think I think the uh, the songs are good. So I mean, so far I, I'm definitely want to buy the track. Thank you. Um, it's actually for free. Oh, what? Yeah, you could download it for uh, free. Uh, yeah, hot new hip hop in that pit. Yeah, definitely gonna download them. But I, uh, what I want to ask you really two questions. One, you have you have a real good uh, story. I think I think your background. You got a lot of got a lot of stuff going on in your background. And thank you. Um, have you ever thought about incorporating that into your music? Absolutely. Um, I have some tracks um, that I have had incorporated my story on, but I definitely want to save some stuff for the album. Okay. Thank you, Vic, for your call. When is the album coming out, well, if, if, if you um, had a wish list? If I had a wish list, it'll be next year. Next year. Yeah. But okay. it just depends how everything goes. Uh, and have you been entertained since you're a free agent? Like, have the labels been coming at you now? Or Yeah, there are certain labels that are interested. But I feel like at the same time, I'm just so, I want to be focused on my craft. Mm -hmm. And if, if it makes sense business-wise, then I will go for it. But I'm not just, like, geeking and just ready to jump on a mm -hmm. deal right now. Mm -hmm. So if it if it makes sense, then, you know. You'll go for it. Yeah. All right, all right, Trace, go ahead. Yeah, because yeah, Lola, I remember seeing rumors that you were going to be in Love and Hip Hop, and we saw what greatness it did for K. Michelle with her career. Is yeah. that something that you're going to do? It, it, K. Michelle did great with it. Yeah. yeah. You know, she, she really did great with it. But I think it just depends on the person's situation. And personally, I don't think that will work for me. Mm. Mm. But, mm. you know, I, I love watching the show. I ain't going to lie. Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping you was going to be on it because I know you, you're friends with, we had Adrian on here. Okay. Uh, and uh, I know you're cool with, you're cool with Cassie too, right? Yeah. Oh, that's my girl. So I was hoping that maybe if you had did Love and Hip Hop, not for the show per se, mm -hmm. but but just, just to get the cameras. We could you, get some of, uh, yeah. Yeah, you know, you, Cassie, Adrian, oh, yeah. to see. What, Heather? That, that should be a show of its own. That should be a show of its own. A show of its own. Would you do that? You, Cassie, and Adrian? Oh, that would be crazy. I wouldn't hmm. mind that. Adrian has Adrian and Julia, right? <laughs> and so, yeah. yeah, okay, perhaps. I well, wouldn't right. mind that. Um, this is what I want to do, man. The thing about Lola that um, appealed to me most was when I saw her at that Vibe party, mm -hmm. and she has flow. Thank she you. knows how to rap. So what I was hoping you could do, because we got Plies coming up here in a minute. He's in the hallway right now. But before you leave, I was hoping you could bless our citizenship this is all around the world, Lola. This ain't just D.C. This ain't just New York. True. This ain't just L.A. This True. ain't just Oakland. This ain't just True. Houston. This ain't just Miami. <laughs> this ain't just Detroit. This ain't True. just Chicago. 
For sure. This is Canada. This oh, is Mexico. Oh, this is the UK. This oh, is Australia. Day. This Who is, is Peru. Sway? This was up. Sway in the morning. All right. <laughs> Lola Monroe. The stage is yours. No beat. No beat. No beat. I want them to hear it. No doubt. <clears throat> okay. It's funny how these slack is attacking me. I pursue it, maintaining my sanity through the tragedy I've been through it. They actually go through agony, mad that she got a movement. Imagine me dragging my feet on batteries not included. Bitches whack getting back of me. I'm the factor exactly. Matter of fact, you ain't half of me manufactured in factory. Plastic, I'm plaster. You playing, I'm serious. So if you think I'm faking, just say my name if you curious. Your money varies. I'm very sorry my money varies. Dummy squawking, but money talk like a therapist. Get arrogant and I'ma hand you that coffin. They mad I'm up front like handicapped parking in austin i'm lofting flossing and bossing i'm lost in the laws of a boss bitch it's awesome so follow me like the female pock through quarter crocs and mcqueens and a seashell drop how i hate it got my music how i hate it can't hear you clear view of my future with my city in the rear view stepped around the corner saw death around the corner niggas tried to go right and got left around the corner and it's real here pack it still if you still here or even ride or get a ride in the wheelchair yeah fuck a deal i just deal with reality like what's really than a meal and a salary, a feel full of casualties, feel for the families, cause what you thought was real was feel full of fantasies. Can you see now? Hurry, think you could be now? Long as you living and breathing, how the fuck could you be down? I commend you as I recruit you. My boss sets across the world, I salute you. They'll never find an ill abroad, so when you see me, just give me that real nigga nod. Real nigga shit, bitches be mad at me, but nigga, who you playing with? This is no batteries. Ooh, Lola Monroe! Yes. I so like funny. that. Yes. Nah, but- what you say about Pac? So follow me like the, the female Pac through Quarter Crocs and McQueen's and a seashell drop. Mm, I like that. I can't say your rhymes. That's a good sign <laughs> for me. <laughs> when I can't just repeat your shit right off the back, uh-huh. that's a good sign <laughs> for me. you trying to get <laughs> in the hook. No, 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 yeah, I was about to try to jump in it, but I couldn't <laughs> find the pattern. I like that. Lola Monroe. Thank you. Yo, I got respect for you. Thank you. All right. Thank Put you. out quality music. Thank you. All right. Get, get, make sure it's true to who you are. All day. Okay. All day. Don't let All nothing day. change you. And don't let no, no, whatever. Just focus on the positive. I will. All right. Thank you. No matter what feedback you get yeah. along the way, focus yeah. on the positive. Always. All right. I'll keep it moving. Okay. I Amen. appreciate that. Absolutely. Uh, Lipstick you. and pistols, right? Yes. And that's out at 1 p.m. 1 p.m. And that's going to be on That Piff? That Piff and Hot New Hip Hop. All right. Thank you for coming through. Oh, Tell God, the homie Los. I said, what up? Me. And kiss the baby for so, us. I right? will. Right? I will. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shade 45.